And Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice sits down with our own Zane Vergy. She says she won't miss Washington. She also criticized all the media coverage of the shoe attack on President Bush when we asked her one very bold question as well. Zane joins us now. What, uh, what did you want to know from her and what did she say to you this morning, Zane? Well, we talked to her for about 30 minutes, and she says among her best moments in the Bush administration were things like when the Afghans were liberated from the Taliban, when Iraqis voted, and she also talked about her historic trip to Libya this year to meet Muammar Gaddafi. But what we also really wanted to know was who did she vote for in the election? Here's what she had to say. Did you vote for Barack Obama? I'm going to continue to say that I'm... Uh, you're Secretary of State, know. Just, I know you're dying to know. I know you're dying to know. But the, the fact is that I didn't get involved in partisan politics. Um, I think I've made clear that I thought that uh, both Senator McCain, John McCain, and Barack Obama, now president-elect, uh, conducted themselves in a way that made the country proud. It's why people, I think, abroad were so focused on this election. The, the worst breach of national security in the history of the United States came under your watch. Uh, absolutely. Did, did you ever consider resigning uh, I believe that this was this was a, I, I do take responsibility but this was a systemic failure the United States of America had experienced terrorist attacks in 1993 in 1998 in our embassies abroad in 2000 against the coal and then finally in September of 2001 but the fact of the matter is that we had not thought of this we the administrations before us had not thought of this as the kind of war against the terrorist that we were going to have to wage. Let me tell you what sec the former Secretary of State Powell said just a few days ago on CNN. He said that he was disappointed. And I'm quoting, frankly, the National Security Council system didn't function in a way that I thought it should have functioned. We didn't always vet everything in front of the president. You were running the show. Well, I, Secretary Powell and I are very good friends, and we remain so. Any principal who ever wished to say something to the president, I facilitated it within hours. Not within days, within hours. And the president sat with his national security team and everybody had an opportunity to speak their mind. And so if people didn't tell the president something, it wasn't because they didn't have the opportunity to do so. I also asked Secretary Rice, based on her experience, what does she think of the whole team of rivals idea for the future cabinet, Kieran? She says differences of opinion are fine as long as the president knows how to sort through all of them and make a decision. Well, very candid interview she gave you. Great job, Zane. Thanks so much.